All right, so um, what I'm what I'm showing right now is just the lot size difference. All right, like I said, let's just say let's just say a little bitty move. I highlight it. This little bitty move currently. You know, you got on, you press sold at a stop loss, uh, five hundred pips, TP a thousand. All right, and it's still it's still moving. All right, so the difference in lot size right now. Let's say you got an account. Um, a thousand, you got a thousand dollar account. All right, you take this trade. Proper risk management. Three point zero one. Let's talk about. We're gonna talk about five hundred pips. Taking a thousand dollar account, gonna equal out fifty bucks. Like I said fifty bucks is fifty bucks. But 50 bucks isn't, um, you know, a, a substantial amount of income, right? It's, it's not life changing, right? Versus, and this is this is the mindset um, that I want to show you guys. That same hundred, that same 500 pips, they have an account. That's hundred thousand. Same 500 pips. Take this, proper risk management, proper risk management. So equal. $500. So look, and that's, that's this, and that's in the last, well, that's in the last 15 minutes. So let's just say $500 in 15 minutes, All right? It's actually in, in the market, actually, it's currently a little bit lower than that, roughly almost to 550 so you still have, look, you still have a potential of this whole entire candlestick filling up and price hitting these lows right here. Okay, so check this out. Look at the, look at the, um, look at the, the money difference, right? Same amount of pips, same move. The only thing that changes is the lot size. Right? Like I said, 50 bucks is 50 bucks, but 50 bucks um, isn't, you know, that life change. That's a different story when we talk about 500. And you start making 500 bucks a day, right? <laughs> is that going to change your life? Of course. That's the real question is, you make 500 bucks a day, is that going to change your life? Yes, sir. Very right. much. Exactly. So look how look how small that is. Look at this move. All right. This this move. This small move. But then look at this. Look, just look at the move um, that we were looking at yesterday. Look at the two moves we were looking at yesterday. So are we finna take a trade now? Uh no, no, we're not about to take one right now. Only way we would take a trade on this session is if we got a uh, pullback on this uh, on on US thirty. If we got a pullback and uh, gave us some some retest at that C three Monday low level, um, the only way we would have took a trade is if we would have took it at the <clears throat> right at seven o'clock. It wasn't here right at seven o'clock. No. Oh. All right. So like I was saying, look at look at the um these were the two moves that we were looking at yesterday. All right, first move right here. This move, the only way we would have caught this is if we put a buy stop in. All right, news completely shot this thing up. 
right? We either we, we would have put a box stop or we would have took it after this uh, bullish retest, which was right at 17, right? But we didn't take it there. It was right on the line. Didn't risk it, right? But if we would have took this trade, it would have been roughly 2,000 pips, right? So, like I said, on on the account side is different. 2,000 pips, right? That is, um, that is, um, 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 what, 200, 200 bucks, right? That'd be 200 bucks added to your, um, your $1,000 account, right? Which is, which is amazing, right? 200 bucks is still 200 bucks, right? It's awesome. But if you go to a bigger account, same move, same risk, um, uh, a little bit, a little bit more on the lot size. You'll be using point team. Then now you will be um. Wait, that's in like ten minutes. Um, now you will be looking at two thousand dollars, right? Instead of two hundred bucks. So that's a it's. I'm saying it's it's so important. To just learn learn the skill set because like I said, the money part of it will come. Right? The money part of it will come. If you guys don't know, um, I dropped it in the chat yesterday. I literally just passed um I, I just passed my my second phase of my test. So now I'm officially funded um to be a six figure trader. So uh, everything that I'm showing you guys, I've used it um, over the last, well, over over the last three weeks or so, um, to become a six figure trader. And now, what I'm telling you guys, being in this position and now, like looking at it, if there was one thing um, that I would have focused on more, it would have just been learning the skill. Right? I know, I had to hear it and I had to go through it. And look, it took me, it took me um almost four years to get to um this point all right i'm here because i want to i want to shorten your uh, success curve all right so yeah. it's literally it literally like i said you can you don't in the beginning i'm telling you don't you don't have to worry about the money because like i said the the lot size difference when you, this when you get the six figure account, the same move, right? The same move using the same proper risk management. You know, like I said, that that move yesterday was two thousand bucks. Then I turned back right back around and was looking at another buy um, that I closed out. And this is this is actually the trade. I'll show you all this uh, because this is actually the trade um, that helped me pass my challenge. So. All right, so remember I was telling you, you all yesterday, I was like, man, I like the impulse because when I see impulses, um, it gives me an opportunity for my pattern. All right, I get a chance. I get a chance to look for my pattern. My pattern cannot happen without an impulse. All right, I need an impulse pullback. All right, remember, remember this simple sauce. There's a move, a pullback, and then the real move. So look, we had a move. Boom, we had a move. Right. From there, from my fields from the bottom to the top. Wait till we wait till we had two candlesticks um, to signify a pullback. Right here. Two candlesticks pulling back. So once we got that pullback, if you see what price done, it came right down to the 618, made tweezer bottoms. We're still above the EMA. Right there, let me just find this. We're still above the EMA. Price started moving up. We got a retest above the 618. And remember, this is our golden zone. All right, we want to take trades in this area right here. Well, when I got to this chart, 
when I got to this chart, the market was already pushing up, right? It was a really, you'll see how bullish this candlestick is. It was really, really bullish. So I, I said, hey, you know, and this is this is just the way that I've, I've been trading. I said, there's a lot of momentum. There's a lot of um, bullish action going on right now in the market. I'm going to get into the trade, right? I'm going to keep my stop loss. It's something I've been doing, um, like making sure that making sure that I do. All right, sixty percent of traders don't use a stop loss. So what I did was I came to the charts. I threw me an entry on here, and I got my stop loss. Once I copy my stop loss in, I impulse the trade in the golden area. All right, TP one, TP two, my zero percent, and my twenty-seven. Um, From there, price. You know, smash my first TP. Dang. Boom, TP hit, close the trade, um, challenge passed. All right, and from there, I said it kind of just folded up a little bit till it hit TP2. And look, that was our pattern. All right, not a not exact, not exact, but that was our that was our that was our C, right? Right, the C leg is where is where I want to ride, right? I want to ride that next impulse up, right? Because if it's making if it's making um, higher highs and higher lows, right? The only thing it's gonna do is pushing up, pulling back, pushing up, and pull back. If it don't come back and hit the um, entry point, then guess what? It pushes up, right? And you and you start to you start to trend, right? And as you see, like this market. I'm pushed up. Look, at this point, right, you had all this, all this opportunity to close. Hey, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow it to come back and hit my and hit my um stop. All right. And if you look at US 30, look out, look how much it's gonna fail. All right, we didn't get the pullback. Definitely didn't get the pullback that we wanted. But this is still on the out. This is on the five minute time frame. All right. Next trade. Uh, let's review. Uh, I sent this idea out last night um, in the chat as well. All right, when I sent it out, uh, um, out, which part? Um, the idea. All right, it would look like it would look like this when I sent it out in chat. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. All right, so um, break this. I'm gonna break this down for you guys as well. All right, so I right, will zoom out. We got our Monday's highs, we got our Monday lows, we got our CP level. Well, remember yesterday, um, we tried to take a trade and it broke above our uh, C3 Monday's high line and it didn't um, give us a impulse up like we thought, All right? It came back to hit a stop loss, take us out of the trade. I want you guys to notice something, All right? This one didn't work out, but the one with US 30, like this one, let's go back, let's go back here. This one did work out. Look, it did the same thing. It just broke Monday's low. You press sell and it went down over 500 pips. All right, so this one worked out and it's still going down. This one did it. The reason that you have to be consistent is because um, what happened is you'll start only taking the losers. Right, if you just start showing up sometimes, right, you, you're going to only be taking the losers. Right? Yeah. For whatever reason, it happens like that all the time. It's just like taking city. So just because this one lost doesn't stop me from taking the next trade that I see. Right? The thing is, is that I have to risk and I have to um, manage. I have to manage my account well. So look, we took this trade. We took it. All right, cool. No, no problem. No foul. You know, it came back up. I told you guys we missed it. Um, even on a smaller time frame, it just broke and retested our C3 line and shot up for about 70 pips right there. All right, but now look, 
Look what look, this is what you can't miss. All right. Look, now look at this impulse move that we have over here. We broke structure over here. We pushed up. Thing is, we don't have a pullback yet. Let's see when we get a pullback. All right, boom. We got two bearish candlesticks. We officially have a pullback. All right. And now you can see how it's forming. Now you can see how you can say, hey, you know, this looks like an ABC pattern. You know, if I if I um if I put my my um, pattern on there early, look, it's already starting to form up and look like it, right? So from there, fibs from the bottom to the top. Then you just wait. Wait no bullish candlestick, right? At this point, there's a bullish candlestick. That just happened right there. That's not the one that we've seen. This is the bullish candlestick that we've seen. All right. Seen this bullish and guffing candlestick. All right. Bullish and guffing candlestick. We just broke out of the golden zone. All right. This was a little bit uh, of an impulse as well because we was looking at a smaller time frame. Maybe I think it's about. Um, what is this? It was around nine ish, somewhere. Nine ish going into um, 11, maybe. But anyway, um, once, the, once the market made this bullish and guffing, I mean, we got too many confirmations right now. We're above the EMAs. We got an impulse. We got a pullback perfectly to the golden zone. We got a bullish impulse, right? And we're right at our C3 Monday's high line. Right, the impulse break above. So like I said what I did, I sent it to you all. I don't like I don't like going to sleep on my trades like that, but some people do or some people stay up at night. All right. So from there, you know, next candlestick went into a little bit of profit. Um, I believe it went into about 50 pips of profit um before I went to sleep. Anyway, we came back, played around at that support level a little bit. Look, we retested that 38, right? We retested at 38 a few times, and then the market went ahead and pushed up, smacked the first TP. Should be currently somewhere up there. Yep, currently above that level now. So, like I said, there's a move, and this could be the real move. Like this move could keep on going up. You know, hopefully to hit our 27 extension there. Um, but this, like I said, there's a move, a pullback, and then a real move. Nash had a pretty good um, move on it yesterday as well. Um, I'll show y'all this. One time look, move. It feels from the top to the bottom when it started pulling back. Look what it did. Week to 38. Maybe drop down. Let's say we drop down to small time frame. Um, BTA. Look, Look what it done. And that was that was this morning. Yeah. That was this that was this morning, roughly around one o'clock. So look, this is definitely a um entry. This definitely would have been um entry area. So I'm right about right about here. Definitely would have been into your area right about there. All right. And even and even here, look, there's a move. Pull back. Then a real move. Yeah, I don't know about holding it way down there. I don't know if it, I don't know if I would have made that. I would have probably pulled out a couple. Interesting. It's just now breaking below um, Monday's low as well. 